Joining me now is Biloxi Police Chief John Miller. John, it's October, that means cruising the coast. How are you preparing for this year's cruising the coast? Well, you know, it is a little different. Now, certainly this is not the first cruising the coast we've dealt with, but it is the first one we've dealt with with, with what's going on now. With Pandemic. <laughs> And, and other things, you know, throughout the nation too, protesters, things like that. So this is the first time we've had those elements to worry about. Uh, I think we've done pretty good. We're going to try to keep everybody spaced as much as we can. If people have a mind of their own, uh, there is no mechanism to force someone uh, out in the open, uh, you know, to wear a face mask or to social distance. But we certainly are going to ask people to do that. The fire department has teams together. Uh, that are going to go out and are just going to you know, have face masks available. Hey, here's a face mask if you need it. You know, can you please try to social distance as much as you can? We're going to space the cars out a little further this year. You're talking about in the display area. In the display area, well, certainly on, on uh, Wednesday, the block party. We're going to try to space them out, which is a, a, a difficult feat in itself because you know how many cars we have in the limited area we have to put them all in. So we're, 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 we're really uh, just thinking outside the box and trying to make all this work for us. As I told someone the other day, the cars are not the problem. The cars do not have COVID. They do not. <laughs> so now, but the, people are going to be near their cars. Right. So you space the cars, theoretically you're spacing the people. A lot of this comes to personal responsibility and that's what we're asking you to do, to please be safe, think of your friends, think of your family, and most of all, think of our visitors. The real harbinger of cruising the coast and the real harbinger of any special event we have in Biloxi are the traffic cones. Explain to people what the cones are yeah. because that has been hugely successful for y'all in, in keeping traffic moving. It has. It's, it's also brought along a lot of complaints and people who... A lot or a few? Well, there's been a number of complaints. Right. Let's say that. Uh, and some people don't pay attention, they hit the cones, you know, they're rubber, so, you know, we chose those cones <laughs> for that reason. Uh, but the reason the cones, a lot of people think we put them out so we can slow traffic, and all, it does have that effect. But the reason the cones are out there is, is so if something happens, we can immediately divert traffic to one lane and we'll have one lane open for emergency vehicles like fire trucks and ambulances. People believe, or people seem to believe, that if an if, uh, uh, ambulance is behind you, that you can just move over. But when you have this much traffic, this close together, sometimes it's impossible. We've had ambulances that have just had to stop because there was nowhere for the traffic to move out of their way. So if it was a, a major incident, you know, happens, we can immediately divert emergency vehicles to one lane and they'll be able to freely travel and get where they need to go. If it's a fire, if it's a heart attack, if it's, you know, anything, they'll be able to get there. We usually don't implement that until we see the one lane, that is, until we see that traffic is growing to a crawl and, and may uh, make gridlock. Mm -hmm. We have learned, we, we, we learned through trial and error about gridlock and what happens. Once traffic draws to a standstill, you know, you would think that all you have to do is get the problem out of the way ahead and traffic will start moving. But that's not the way it works. There's a whole science behind it. Usually, once traffic is gridlocked, it takes about three hours. If we can determine what the issue is, what's holding traffic up, get that cleared, it takes about three hours for traffic to start moving freely like it should again. So when you see us, Diverting to one lane, there's a couple of things. Either we, there's an incident that's taking place and we need to be able to get vehicles there, or traffic is growing to the, is going so slow that we're afraid it's going to gridlock. And we, 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 as long as we can keep it moving, we can be successful. But if it ever stops, and if it ever stops for more than five or ten minutes, you can bet. I don't know why people do it. It's a phenomenon on its own. But people will get out of their vehicles and start socializing in the roadway. And that just adds to the problem of trying to get traffic moving again. It, it's a, something that, as you said, is tried and true, and it is, it's cumbersome for some people, but we're focusing on that, which is my fault, but this is really a great event when you look at those cars, because you're a car guy. It is a great event. I am a car guy. I love the event. I love the people that come here. It's a, just a, a, a great, a great bunch of folks that come down. Uh, interested in their cars, ready to talk about them. You can have conversation after conversation 
uh, from everything how they how they rebuilt their transmission, you know, right to where they they ordered the motor from. You know, it's just so much information, and it's just great people to talk to. It's just a lot of fun. But just keep in mind, there's a lot of people here. There are more people here. Uh, there are so many people here that our infrastructure is is it's 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 burdened. It's, it's burdened at the bursting point. So we have to do these things to keep traffic moving. The cones are going to go down, I think the plan is for this Friday? This Friday, or around, uh, somewhere around, uh, before, right around daylight, we're hoping to drop the cones in. We want to keep the cones back as long as we can, and then drop them at the last minute. That's this Friday or next Friday? Next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. So it's going to be a week from this Friday when you'll see the cones going down. But meanwhile, you're going to see a lot of people in town who are not familiar with our roadways. What's your advice to local motorists? Well, first of all, GPS is a great, great thing to have, <laughs> and, and, our, and I think the majority of the people that we've dealt with in the past do have GPS, right? So take your time on the roadways. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You can always call the non-emergency number at dispatch if you're not sure exactly where something's at. They'll be glad to help you. Just take your time. There are going to be a lot of people here. We know uh, from, from what uh, Mr. Bailey told us is that we have quite a few first-timers this year. More than 800 first-timers. That, that we know of, and I, I, I attribute that because I'm sure that throughout the country people have been locked down for a while with COVID, and now here this event is, and they're like, hey, let's go check that event out. That's what I think's happening. I there. think you're exactly right. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. But Patience is the big thing, and patience. also drive defensively. Patience, leave your phone in the console. Don't You can stop somewhere and text or make a call. Leave that phone out of the way. Certainly, certainly don't be drinking and driving, which is not something we worry about with this crowd mm -hmm. as much. Uh, but pay attention, like you said, drive defensively. Pay attention to the people around you. Uh, you know, if, if uh, uh, other people aren't paying attention and you are, you may be, may be able to divert an accident that would be their fault. Mm -hmm. So the cones go down a week from Friday and they're gonna go down from where to where? We'll put them from the I-110 all the way to the Beach Road. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look and see that we don't have as much activity as we think we're going to, I, personally, I think we're going to have a record year. I do too. But if we, but if we see that it's not uh, going to be as as, uh, as crowded as we thought it was going to be, we may shorten that distance. Okay. The, we have a map for this on our city website if you go there. Also, one of the most important things that you can do is sign up for our text alerts because that's when we let people know how the traffic's moving down on Highway 90. We let you know whenever we're going to one lane if they have to go to one lane. The way you do that is on your phone. Text Biloxi, B-I-L-O-X-I to 888-777. Biloxi to 888-777. You got all your men and women coming in, I'll bet. It's all hands on deck with the exception of a couple that are injured right now, a couple that are deployed militarily. And then, uh, you know, there may be uh, one or two that, uh, in order to get everybody's vacation in, <laughs> there may be one or two that actually... You're gonna have other law enforcement agencies coming we are, in? We are, we're gonna bring about 15 in, which has been the standard for most events. Now we'll bring about 15 from other parts of the state. They'll come down, they're sworn Biloxi policemen. Uh, for that weekend? For that weekend, that's right. We, 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 do, we, we treat them just like we would any, the, any other Biloxi policeman. We put them through the rigorous background check and, and, and all that mm -hmm. and, uh, and make sure that they're suitable to be a Biloxi policeman. And they'll be wearing a, another uniform from another city but they will be a swarm of it's, it's just like Mardi Gras. If yeah. you see a cop, listen to what they say. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Look in that you, camera. We can disagree. If you disagree with them, we, there's a mechanism for that. <laughs> but right there, right then, is not the time. Do what Chief, the officer's telling them. Chief mentioned the, uh, the number to call, 9 emergency. That is 228-392-0641. Look into that camera and give people the best advice you can about preparing for cruising the coast. Be prepared to be delayed. It's going to happen. Come to enjoy yourself. Don't let anybody uh, make you angry. Uh, certainly, we don't want any road rage, road rage incidents. And be careful. Watch the people around you. Uh, and call us if you need us. And have fun. Thank you, Chief. Yes, sir.